Hi, if you use one of the many social media scheduling tools out there like Buffer or Publer or Social Bee, and you want a quick way to be able to add content to the queue straight from the web page as you find it, then this video is for you. Hi. I'm Andrew Mean, and I help business owners to save time and to automate systems using tools like Zapier and Integromat. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a little known feature of Zapier to allow you to take a web page and to automatically post a link to that in your social media calendaring software so that you can then review it and schedule that as and when you want without having to go into the software just to create that content. So let's have a look at how we do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new zap and we're going to name the zap. So let's call it post to social media. And we're going to add the trigger and the trigger we want to use is push by Zapier. Now push by Zapier is an extension for Chrome. I can also work on the Microsoft Edge browser. And what we're going to use is push with fields and we're going to click continue. Now, if you haven't got the extension installed, very easy to do that. First time you set it up, just click on use this Chrome extension and it will add it to your browser for you. Now, the form field I want in this case is the post description. This will allow me to say a little bit about the page I want to post. And we click continue. And then we click test the trigger. And we're going to click on the extension here. And you'll see it says testing post to social media. So let's click on that and we'll click test this up. And we'll click send. We'll click test the trigger again. And you'll see that it's pulled in the information that I've just used in the browser. So we'll click continue. And now we're going to set an action for the social media scheduling tool that you use. It could be Buffer, it could be Publer. I'm using Social B in this case. The information you get to select will be slightly different, but you'll get the idea. So let's pop in social B and see. And we want to create the post. Select the account that we want to use. Select the workspace. Now what I do is I tend to post it to a single category and then once I go in to review the posts before I schedule them is I select the category I want. So I'm just going to choose the news category in this case. Social profile, where I want to post that to all of the profiles we have. So I'm going to select LinkedIn and Twitter. And in the text field what we're going to do is we're going to select the information that we typed in, in as the post description. So post description. And then we're going to pop in the link URL that we've, we've pulled out. The other one I'm going to select is I don't want this to be scheduled immediately. I want to be able to approve it and to change it at a later, later date before I actually send it out. So I'm going to select false to approve the post automatically. And we'll click continue. And if we click test and continue now, and then have a look at our social B account. If I just refresh this page here, you'll see that we have one post. And it is the post that I suggested test this app. So that's the, the app that we've just created. So I'm going to take that out now. So I have nothing waiting in the queue. See, there's no posts waiting in the queue. And what we're now going to do is we're going to turn this app on. and then we'll test it. So let's say you wanted to tweet about the new iPhone 12. You go to the page that you're wanting to tweet about or that you've come across on the, the web and you click on the push by Zapier button and click on post to social media. And here we're going to put just a wee bit of text. Hey, have you seen the new iPhone 12? And we'll click send. And that's now posted that social media. So we now go back to social B. And if we refresh the categories page, you'll see we have a post in there. And you'll see it says, have you seen the iPhone 12? We click on a preview of it. 
and that's what will go out. So you can see very easy to add content as you come across it using the push by zap here button. There are lots of things we can do with it and I'll maybe go into those uh, in another video at a later date. If you found this video useful, please share it. Please click the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube and press that bell so that you get notified when there are new videos. And I look forward to seeing you in another video soon.